All right, welcome back. So let's go on. And uh, in the last video, we did this print, and I said that this is a string. So let me zoom in and do like this. So this is a string. And this is the part that's actually because it's in the uh, quotation marks, what they're called. Um, so it's surrounded by quotation marks. <laughs> and that's what we do. So a string is just, it can be any text any um you can also have numbers that just prints like print like uh, numbers let me do another one for numbers so um two plus two is four and it won't it will just read the numbers as text and this is what we have to remember and be aware of um and now we'll run the program and this was this one up here okay and and I'll zoom in again. So this is a string, two plus two is four. Yeah. So far so good. And um Okay, so now I'll explain a bit that we can also have these in uh variables. So let me um let me just so <laughs> variables. So uh let me write it. Variables I can even spell it. And in common style, variables, variables, like this, variables. Um, and we'll be using uh, two different general variables uh, now. So later, uh, different variables. Now we'll use two different type types, two different types of variables. Variables, okay. So, um, we use an integer variables, and this is for so this is for whole numbers. Uh, and the other one is a uh, string variables for text. And uh, let me just show you a thing that uh, you can do um, in the print because it makes sense to actually. 2 plus 2 is 4, we can also have it just write numbers 2 plus 2 and uh, I should have mentioned that before, never mind, so just to show you fast, so if you just in the print statement without any uh, so it's just plain numbers without surround them by um, by uh, a quotation marks, so let's see what happens and uh, yeah, run it and then it just gives the result 2 plus 2 is 4 and then it prints the result 4 so it doesn't in this case it doesn't print 2 plus 2 and but if we were to surround them the 2 plus 2 with quotation marks and we run the pro project program uh then it will print 2 plus 2 uh so i hope that makes kind of sense uh, actually but you can so uh, the quotation marks print what it says, and if there's no quotation mark, it looks for uh, it's going to do mathematics. Um, so and I guess we can also whoops happened there. I guess we can also just print like a two, and then it should just print the number two. And let's check if it works. Yeah, and it works. So now just print prints two. Um, so. And uh, yeah, so now let's do the same thing in variables. So um, let me go down here and let us define a variable. So whenever in Java uh, we are going to create a variable, um, we'll have to define it. What type of variable and the name? The name of the variable. Uh, so the type followed by the name. I can up here. Uh, type followed by name and followed by equal my sign I just uh, do the sign um and whatever the variable is variable yes so I uh, don't maybe that looks a bit confusing but I'll show you so let's define an integer variable so repeat again integer variables is for uh, they they are for whole numbers only. Um, 
This is the first integer variable. And the type we write int int. And it also changed the color, if you can see that, to blue. Um, and then we have to name it, so we call it number. Because it kind of makes sense. Or maybe whole number. Whole number, like this. Uh, and then equals. And let's say two. Kind of like two. And now in Java we have to end everything um, with a... Uh, it's called semicolon. So... Yeah, Java will always be asking for semicolon, uh, and then it gives an error. And uh, and I should mention about NetBeans that it has a automated, uh, automatic error detection. So, which is very nice in the beginning, at least, um, when we don't know what we're doing, and if we're doing something wrong, then NetBeans will just uh, tell us that we have been doing something wrong. So, okay, so um, now this variable whole number is an integer variable and it should hold contain the number 2 so we can actually test this by printing out the variable so and then get rid of these I just press backspace and it deletes both of the of the quotation marks at the same time because we don't want to type text into it um, and then I just write the name of the variable whole number yeah, and you can see that you can actually NetBeans shows you uh, the connection wherever this whole number is uh, used or defined, then we will see it that they have the same color, uh, which is extremely useful. Um, so let's now, and let me just out comment the other two print statements because I don't want them anymore. So then they become, and I've changed the color of the, uh, if you, by default, NetBeans has a um, gray. Uh, color for the uh, for the uncomment and I changed it to uh, because I really like to see it and the gray is difficult to read so I changed it, changed it to this uh, pink type of uh, which uh, I like it <laughs> so uh, let's see what it what it does um, so I'll run the pro program again press play and yeah just two so let's go back I can zoom in just I have to remember to zoom in because it's so small I don't know how to make it bigger size so um for the output so um yeah so what it does it prints out the variable this variable and inside this variable is uh number 2 so that should be um pretty straightforward and we can do the same thing with uh yeah with the string variable so and how do we define a string variable type name equals whatever it contains and followed by a semicolon so and you s for string it has to be a capital s which for uh, reasons uh that are a bit too complicated for now but it's not small like integer it's actually a big s um so this is a type string and the name of the string let's call it uh, first string and then equals and then the contain whatever it contains and now we have to be careful because it's a string so it has to be surrounded by um, quotation marks so let's create quotation marks um, and then yeah, let's repeat the text from above this is a string doesn't hurt and the last thing is, of course, the uh, semicolon uh, that Java wants. And now we have our string, but when we run it, it won't print the string because we just defined a, a variable. So we have to print the variable, just like above. Um, so let's do that and get rid of these two. And then we write the name of our string variable, or our first string variable. First string. And... Uh, yeah, I can't spell like this. Yeah, now Java is happy. Um, and let's run the program and see what happens. Um, and I zoom in. So it prints out for the integer variable two, and it prints out the string variable, which contains the text. This is a string. Um, perfect, like what we wanted, what we wanted it to do. Um, yeah. And 
Uh, let's see what else I should be mentioning. It takes. We have a few minutes left, or maybe we should just stop now. Let's see. Basic calculation. Did that. Uh, print main variables. Show connection between variables. Uh, I think I did that as well. Yeah. So. Um, I think we are more or less ready to move on to our first project. So for the next videos we will be making our very first uh, Java project, which will be kind of exciting. Um, I think so. So, uh, yeah. So, so this is, this is great. So, bye for now.